Hello everyone, this is Tom with Stock Navigator and this is today a weekly market update for April 5th, 2020. So first of all, let's take a look on the um, uh, future uh, E-mini SP500. As you can see that uh, the overall market after uh, uh, the whole month dropped down to the bottom below uh, 2200. So they, they be able to stabilize and then they push it back up. When they put it back up, they hit right into the first resistance line, and then now they start to go sideways. So it seems like the first move, it shoot it up, and then the people take some profit, and then the market be able to build the momentum from here. So they have found a strong support at this level. And we're looking for the uh, technical bear risk bow to the upside, okay? So if you look at a, uh, a shorter time frame right now, uh, you can see that based on the smaller time frame, the market will be able to uh, shoot it back up. And after they finish it, this move, they have been go sideways for uh, the last the whole week. And then you can see they go sideways. And now it seems like they build some momentum. If you watch out for this level, if they be able to check out this level, the market will head up and test the upper bound right here for the short term. Okay, so that's what it happened on the uh, future market right now. And if we look at the um, SBY, already a, it's also a proxy for SB500. You can see that uh, on Friday, the market it uh, put it uh, back down and then they seem like they be able to hold up. So the buy zone here is to hold them very well. So if they be able to break this level here, so uh, we will continue to go up for uh, another uh, bear market rebound okay so uh, let's watch out for the level so you can see if the market did continue to be able to do that and then it means that the trend is still up for the short term if they take this level down it means that the market is still have a little bit more correction before they can go higher so either way uh, i think that we are uh, uh, at this moment we bottom out we need to get some momentum for the upside and after that uh, we will analyze day by day and we will tell you exactly where they go and then uh, we can go from there so it's the same thing for uh, 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 the Dow also and you can look at for the Dow the Dow is very similar so we are uh, watch out uh, very careful at this level if overnight the future uh, Dow be able to break out the high high uh, they will get out of the uh, uh, sideways correction here that's the first side that they will go up Okay, so that's for the Dow and for the NQ. NQ is pretty strong at this moment. NQ is trying to stabilize. They go sideways. Uh, if they're able to hold the momentum on the breakout here, definitely it will be looking for a short term on the bear market rally. And it's the same thing for uh, Russell. Russell is a little bit weaker uh, compared to the other uh, sister and brother uh, index, but uh, they try to uh, pull back up. It on the first move here, they hold up and then they hold up very well at the support level. And if they be able to work out, the market will head up north. Okay, so that's what we have for you. So it seems like all of the indices try to head north in the short term. So I know a lot of uh, people out there are still very bearish. People to die every day, still more uh, infection and this kind of stuff, you know. But we are the technical trader whatever we see in the market that's what we're supposed to trade accordingly to whatever the price tell you okay it's not because the new so that's what i yet want to show you and the goal at this moment is try to put it back up but they are also losing momentum here also so right now uh, even though they pull up here but it's very risky uh, for the goal to go higher okay and the oil the oil it, after they run up uh, last week, okay, so they finished the whole move here and uh, they hit to the top right into the resistance and then after that and now they will pull it back, okay, to this area first before they can find a way, okay, to go higher because the uh, Russia, uh, Saudi, Arab and US, they will have a meeting on the April 8th, uh, so uh, they're supposed to happen on tomorrow, but I think they delayed it a couple of days. So 
Um, that's why after the first run up, and they pull back down and let's see what the result come out. And then uh, uh, they will give you a more clear direction for the oil in the future. Okay. And the natural gas is to uh, try to bounce it back up from uh, the support here. Uh, but they still have the resistance here uh, that you can see. Unless they be able to uh, put to this resistance and then we can see. Otherwise, that, you know, they will continue to uh, go in the downside. But if they break this level, that, that's the first sign that um, the natural gas will be bottom out and then push it back up and let's see how far they go. And the euro, it, um, after they run up, they hit right into the resistance and then they pull it back down. You can see here very clearly so as long as the, they still uh, in the downside, so the euro is still going down, and this is the level of support. Okay, so that happened for the euro and uh, a currency pair euro and US dollar. And the bond at this moment, it, uh, they try to put it back up, but uh, they are losing momentum. They break below the upper trend line, so that's the side that uh, people. Uh, Take out the money from the bond. That's why they, if if the the bond it continue to go lower, that will help the uh, S&P 500 to move higher. And one more thing I'd like to show you on the VIX, that's the volatility uh, volatility uh, index between the fear and the re. As we defy here for many days, the VIX it uh, come to the super high level here, and then they pull back down, and now. They try to go down. So seems like the market, it, the people, it, a little bit less fear right now. So they are a little bit calmer. So definitely, if, if the wicked come down, they also uh, that's another indicator that will show you that the market they're going to go, uh, they be able to put it back up. Okay, and then we'll go from there. So this is what I have for you uh, on this week market forecast. And then every day we try to uh, analyze the market and give you more detail where the market is heading to. Uh, and a lot of stock, but, uh, uh, like the airline stock on the uh, uh, manufacturer uh, uh, on the airline. I think that uh, today at, uh, at the President Trump, uh, now that he's going to involve with the airline, so that may be push up a lot of airline stock. So let's see how things going. Okay, so this is what I have for you this week. And then uh, day by day, and I'll try to uh, analyze the market and give you more update and hope you enjoy. If you like what we are doing here, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by click the subscriber button below so that every time I have a new post, I will uh, let you know so that you can uh, stay home and watch it and to see where the market heading to. And hopefully you can learn something from us and uh, make some money also. And if you want to learn more about our method, about our strategy, please check out our website at stocknavigator.com for more information. Again, thank you and for watching. And stay home, stay safe, and stay healthy. We will see you in the next video. Thank you.